Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 28th, 2021. Well, my goodness, those bears came out with a vengeance yesterday and really started uh, to heavily attack um, in the pre-market, and it didn't help that those durable good orders um, or so disappointing and then later in the day FOMC kind of disappointed the market not um, lowering rates or increasing any uh, buying programs so um, the bears stayed on the gas all day long driving us down near the lows of the day at the close so what does that mean for today? Well, how about we take a look at the technicals of these charts, see if we can discern what's going on here. Try not to panic. And let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So as you guys are very well aware, I have been warning of this possibility for a while to be careful to not overtrade because of the danger of a pullback and that it could be rather extreme. And I've also hinted at the idea that we're going to have to be careful because stock prices have been pushed so high, it would be entirely possible for um, a sell the news type event where we get good earnings reports, but we still sell off because we cannot support some of these prices in the market. Well, we kind of had that all come together yesterday in a bit of a perfect storm, uh, pushing things down. We had some bad economic calendar reports that uh, disappointed. We had some bad earnings reports that were disappointing. And those bears really got on the gas here and pushed hard. And if we take a look at our price action in our chart, notice that we, we, we've we made some um, little bit of a technical damage um, in these charts. And I've we're, I was pointing these, these levels out yesterday and we're kind of pushing around in those. So first thing we did is we broke down below this price support and we really broke down um, through that uptrend. Now you could draw that trend just a little bit differently, but uh, pretty much any way you draw that, we broke down through the trend. The good news is, the, is that we ended up holding before um, really failing through this level of price support in the Dow. And although we push down overnight, we're trying to lift that back up to, um, to hold on to that price level. Now let's take a look at that. What that is, is a 50 day moving average test. And as long as we can hold around that 50 day moving average, I think we're going to be okay. The problem that we've created though now is that we have a, um, resistance above that's actually fairly substantial. You can see all this price action in here. It's actually fairly substantial. So one of the things we're going to have to be watching for is even with a rally back and I know the buy the dip trade has been the winning trade for a long long time but we may have a change here we're going to have a resistance level tied together here in the Dow between the break of that downtrend and this resistance price right in here so we're going to have to watch that pretty closely a rally back up into here could actually trigger that next wave of selling. So watch for that possibility of a lower high if it should occur. I can't tell you that it will. Um, what we do want to see though is if we're going to rally back, we want to see us get back above that support and then prove to hold it. So watch that carefully and closely. A test of the 50 day moving average is a normal thing. It's a positive thing. It's a good thing for the market. We've needed to do that for a long, long time. Now the question is, will we be able to respond and get back above some support levels in the chart, or will we continue to see those bears um, driving on lower? Now let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Also, um, pretty substantial damage here on the short term in the SPY. Now, if we take a look at this uptrend in here, we certainly broke down through that uptrend. 
in the SPY. And we gave up this little bit of price support in the chart. Once again, we came on down and we tested the next level of price support during the overnight and we're trying to bounce off of that. But here again, we have that same problem that I was talking about before. If we rally back into this resistance level, watch for that possibility that if the bears can find a reason to step back on the gas in here, that we move on lower. Now, of course, we never want to rule out the possibility that today the bears could continue to push down, and I'll show you why that possibility does still exist, that even though we had this ugly sell-off, we may not be done with this selling wave um, right now. But right now we're looking at that, that pre-market candle here as so they're trying to push back up, so I'm going to go with that um, that look and say we're going to try and get that cooler head bounce back up but we're going to have to watch these price resistance levels in the chart because as we push back up we'll have to respect those so keep a close eye on that now once again if we take a look at our moving averages during the overnight session you can see we push down here on the spy to test that 50-day moving average and we're trying to catch a bounce off of that this morning. So watch that carefully. Um, holding that 50 day is a good thing, but oftentimes that test of the 50 day, we can get a test just like right here. We test the 50 day, we get that rally back, that's where that lower high comes in, and then we push on through to the downside, kind of that three wave sell off. So we get that move that looks kind of like that. Um, that possibility does exist. I'm not going to tell you that's what's going to happen, but we have to keep that as part of our preparation that that possibility could occur. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ had a pretty rough day yesterday as well, but held up much better because it was so extended um, it didn't really break down. So we held on to some price support levels here on the chart. And if you take a look at the trend, we've actually held on and we had a test overnight. We pushed down after some big tech earnings last night. We'll talk about that in a second. Pushed down to test that downtrend, but the NASDAQ is still holding up at the moment. So we're looking better here on the NASDAQ. We haven't broken down through those support levels or really broken through. However, if we do get some additional push here today, let's keep a close eye. Um, we have some levels down in here that we could certainly test if those bears decide to continue to attack. Let's watch that closely. And once again, um, we held above our 50 day moving average. This is showing how extended the NASDAQ actually is at the moment. So we do run that danger in here that the bears could continue. We pop up in here a little bit and then push on down down to test that 50-day moving average. So watch for that possibility. Then if we take a look at IWM, IWM had some good news yesterday. Um, we saw, well, good news for um, oil sector stocks in the sense that um, we had a uh, sharp decline in um, the petroleum status uh, report the the supplies dropped pretty dramatically so that helped hold those oil sector stocks up a little bit and so we didn't have as severe a sell-off here in IWM but one thing I want to point out is there really is no substantial price support in this move until we maybe come down to here so if those bears really push we could still um, come down there pretty substantially. And one thing I, I continue to point out is just how parabolic this chart on IWM is and the danger that lies in that kind of price pattern in a chart. So watch that carefully and closely. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX um, really had trouble yesterday. Um, we jumped up hard and high yesterday. You can see if I put the moving averages on there. Um, at one point in time, we pushed up to that 200-day moving average. We were trying to hold around that 200-day moving average. But then after the FOMC announcement, those bears stepped back on the gas, pushing hard to the downside. 
we ended up closing up here around a 37 handle. Now for anyone who trades options, this is gonna be problematic today because what happens when we do things like this is option prices spike really, really high because of the volatility and the market makers widen out the bid ask spread. So there's more slippage. In fact, it'll be kind of stupid silly this morning um, because market makers are actually protecting themselves um, when volatility gets this high. Now, unfortunately, being up in here um, in this area, even a rally back in the market sets up that possibility. What I've been talking about before is that possibility that we could pull back and hold a higher low in the VIX. And that's where the real selling could begin. So we're going to want to watch that closely. And now what that means is, is in our index trends, we have that index trend that we kind of broke here. We broke that index trend and that rally back to resistance will create this pullback in the VIX. And then if that selling wave comes in, that's where that real selling could come in. The real fear could come into the market there. Every market top has, has had this pattern um, since the history of, of trading. And if we keep it, um, want to keep a close eye on that. And remember, every market top is a process that takes much longer than people expect. It can go weeks, it can go months as we bounce around in that upper area before the real selling takes over. So I can't tell you that we're going to have a major pullback, drawback, or sell off, but I will tell you that we have some warning signs here. We had that shot over the bow, bow. we're going to to have to be on our toes and be paying attention to these price patterns to protect ourselves. Let's take a look at T2122. Now I suggested that we may not be done in our sell-off. Um, we were so extended in this market and held that extension for so long, as you can see, we did not come all the way down here into that bullish reversal zone yesterday. So we still have that space down here where we could move into this lower area of T2122 before we catch that bounce. So just keep that in mind. There may still be some room to the downside. We are not at this point in time oversold in the short term. That just, that just goes to show you how overbought we were um, in this market. So keep that in mind. We could bounce back up in here and that's certainly doable and possible. We may find some resistance up in this, um, up in this area and, and then reverse and make that move down. We may not go in that straight line down, but just keep in mind, if we do take that straight line down, we still have room to go to the downside. So keep that in mind and be prepared for that possibility should we stumble in any way, shape or form here in the market today. And then if we take a look at that T2101, we did unfortunately, experience um, that market breadth increase as I suggested yesterday that market breadth increase on the selling wave so if that were to continue we could actually see that beginning to spike back up what we're going to want to watch pretty carefully though is if we start to rally if the market begins to rally and we see market breadth decline again. That could be a problem. That's another one of those warning signs that we'll have to be watching for carefully that maybe this um, bounce back up doesn't have enough energy to carry us through and we could see that second wave of selling to the downside. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and we do have a bunch on the economic calendar to consider uh, this morning. Take a look here. We've got um, market moving events this morning, uh, for sure and for certain, they can move us around uh, pretty substantially. We've got a GDP number this morning that we'll want to pay attention to. Um, I don't know how that number is going to come in, but um, certainly that is a market moving um, um, uh, event. In, out there. We have international trade in goods. Now, uh, international trade in goods, everyone knows that this is horrible. It's been horrible and it's remaining horrible. No one seems to care about that. So it may not be such a market mover. But then of course we have those jobless claims and jobless claims will be very, very important to pay attention to today. Um, we started to see those declines um, in employment and a little bit of rising going on in those jobless claims due to um, 
the pandemic. So keep a close eye on that. That could be um, either a bullish sign for the market or a bearish sign for the market, depending on how that reports. We've got new home sales. We know that those are potentially market moving um, numbers. Now, new home sales or home sales have been very, very good in this low interest rate environment. That could prove to be bullish for the market as well. So kind of keep an eye on that. We have maybe a mixed bag of things that could push us around. Um, we are also going to have the natural gas report and the Fed balance sheet. Um, I don't think anybody cares about those. So uh, keep a close eye on that. Now, dis um, other than that, we have a very big day. This will be our biggest day of earnings this week with ab about 100 companies reporting. And I don't have time, um, oops, I don't have time this morning to go through um, all of the stocks that are reporting. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click that link just below the um, title of this video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and you can take a look at those notable reports for today. One thing I do want to mention here this morning is I, I've talked about that possibility that we've pushed stocks so far that even really good earnings reports could bring in some sellers. And we saw that yesterday afternoon. Apple, Apple reported a blowout earnings report. And uh, notice that um, it is still, even though it's popping in the overnight activity here, um, it is still indicating lower than ye yesterday's close. So kind of keep that in mind. We saw, um, we're seeing, we're experiencing that fact that we may have overvalued these companies so much that even a very, very strong earnings report um, brings in some sellers. So watch that close. We, uh, we saw Tesla kind of disappoint the market yesterday and it's actually holding up. They, their earnings missed and it's actually holding up better. Even though we had some selling in that, um, after the bell yesterday, um, it's holding up reasonably well here, but notice that it is indicated lower. And then Facebook, Facebook saw some selling into um, that number yesterday, although they reported pretty darn well. They were pointing to new competition from Apple, and you can see it is also indicated just a little bit lower this morning, even after a good round of earnings. So keep that in mind. We may be on that. Um, we get these earnings reports. Um, if they're not absolutely stellar, we could see stocks be punished pretty heavily. So this morning, let's take a look. We've got um, McDonald's that we'll be reporting. We'll want to keep an eye on that. I'm just going to run through a few very uh, quickly. We've got Altria reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on those. We've got airlines um, reporting. Wow. Um, airlines reporting and they reported horrible losses. And um, look at the stock spike here. I, I tell you, we got some you know, wild price action in the market. Um, we've got um, JNPR, Juniper, We'll be reporting today, um, MKC, we've got some of these um, defensive sector stocks that we'll be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on um, MDLZ, another defensive sector stock we'll want to watch. Um, SWKS, um, we'll be reporting, keep an eye on that. Um, TSCO, Tractor Supply, we'll be reporting today. Um, we've got US Steel reporting today, Valero Energy, reporting visa which has been suffering pretty hard here um, recently suffering a, a nasty little sell-off will be reporting that'll be interesting and um, last one I'm gonna point out this morning WRK so make sure you go back to that list today there's a lot more on that list of those earnings reports that could be moving us around this morning um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but I got to tell you guys um, I, I want to caution everyone, um, although there are stocks that held up, holding up, doing quite well, um, we should be very, very careful um, in this market. The volatility of this market will be very dangerous, and particularly for those who trade options because of the um, wide bid S spreads, the high price of those options with that high VIX. So be very, very careful in here. 
um, if you do decide to trade. Um, could be some pretty challenging price action. Let's take a look at NKLA. NKLA, um, I've been noting this one in the morning prep report for a while. I traded this, closed that trade for a profit, and we're seeing NKLA continue to show bullishness here this morning. And you, this is the pre-market candle. So we pushed up, had a little selling um, overnight, pushed back up, um, looking pretty good here overall. But one thing I want to point out is that this is pretty stretched to the upside. This is a high risk trade to a stop loss. So maybe waiting for the, the next entry into that trade would be a really good idea. So keep a close eye on that. Take a look at Solo. Um, these um, electric car makers holding up well, although this is pulled back. Um, I've also traded this, took some profits in this trade. And although this is pulled back, notice it's holding right onto this trend. Nice little resting pullback in here, um, setting up pretty nicely. So a uh, bullish candle in here could give us some upside opportunity in solo. Keep an eye on that. Now this morning we're going to be getting that um, report from, or today we're going to be getting that report from Altria. And one of the things that I've been watching here, and one of the things that Rightway Options members have been asking me to do is talk a little bit more about some longer term trades because I do hold some longer term trades. And I've been watching Altria here pretty closely. If this stock can finally prove to break this big long downtrend and hold it as support, I'll be looking at this as an opportunity for a longer term hold. And kind of keep in mind guys that if the market does get a little bit scary, if we do see some selling, Oftentimes these big dividend payers, these old boring companies, defensive sector type stocks, start to pick up and perk up. So keep an eye on um, Altria for that potential opportunity. Another one of those um, that has been moving up here just recently after its earnings report is 3M. Now 3M breaking a big long downtrend in the chart and we've spiked up hard here um, after that earnings report. What we need to do here is wait for that next opportunity. So if we can get a rest or pullback consolidation in here look for that next opportunity as long as we can hold that downtrend here's another nice divvy pair that could be one of those safety plays to get into and it could be that longer term hold um, uh, for the market so watch those closely um, last but not least on that list would be AT&T now AT&T um, has been struggling quite a bit. Verizon has just been hammered here big time. But AT&T is starting to show that effort here where we're trying to hold in. If this can break above this big um, resistance area and prove to hold. We tried over here, couldn't do it. But if we could get back up there and hold, this is one of those big strong divvy payers that may be one that comes back around and can be a good trade for that longer term, more of safety type play. Um, I want to point out uh, gold and silver today. Gold and silver, if we are going to print another $1.9 trillion, um, then we it would be logical to see gold and silver start to respond. Unfortunately, if we look at these daily charts, it's just not there yet. And a lot of these stocks were suffering pretty hard um, yesterday in the sell-off. It kind of swept up everything into it. So keep a close eye on this. Now, when I look at this chart, I see that possibility of a head and shoulders top pattern being formed here. So we're going to have to watch this pretty carefully. But if we can pop back up, maybe hold on to support, in here, we do have that opportunity. And if we are going to continue to print, then that might be a trade to be looking for. Um, silver as well. Silver could be an opportunity. And notice it performed a little bit better. And one of the reasons I might be looking at silver over gold is if we're going to start this infrastructure improvement project that this administration talks about a lot, then silver has a lot more industrial uses than gold does. And we could actually see silver catch a, a bid here a little bit easier. Um, notice we have pushed back up just barely above this level of support. So we need to prove that we can hold in here. You might want to take a look at silver as that opportunity um, stock right now. So keep a close eye on that. So there's a few things for you to pay attention to kind of uh, on the safety side of things today, because 
Um, honestly, I cannot really be encouraging um, to be jumping in and chasing a lot of trades today. There's going to be an awful lot of danger, uh, particularly if you're inexperienced, sit on the sideline, protect yourself in this market. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great, great trading results. I want to wish you safety and health. Everyone take care of yourself, and we will talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day, everyone.